afternoon. It's kind of morning, not really. Um, we just left church. And where am I? Jason's Deli. Can't really see it. But I'm at Jason's Deli. Waiting for my men to get their salad and potato that they love to have every Sunday. And then we go home and I get started with my meal prep Sunday. We had an awesome service this morning and looking forward to, we had a guest speaker, so it was very nice. But, um, I'm just waiting. Excited about spending family time. It's been a great weekend. Looking forward to a great week ahead. I'll be seeing you guys later doing my meal prep. Love you. Happy Sunday afternoon. We made it back from church and we are, I well, I am here sitting, having a little lunch. Had me a salad here with some um, avocado sa uh, salad and some fruit mixed in with roasted chicken. It's what I got from Jason's Deli. I have a, uh, they call it a nutty salad. So it has some apples and uh, grapes and raisins and roasted chicken. I added the avocado. It doesn't come with avocado. I added that. But, um, got my curls going on today. I'm sitting here trying to, um, get prepared for my meal prep Sunday. And a lot of you have asked how I, you know, how long does it take and what do you do? So I ordered groceries Friday night on walmart.com and um, I make out my plan as to what I'm going to, to do. And then I write down my menu items, my menus. You know, I usually choose two, two different types of uh uh, meals for the week. So we have a variety, of course. I make um, a big salad. The salad is uh, for lunches, so we can just grab that, put it in a bowl, and choose some kind of protein or something. Usually, me, I, I know I'm weird. I like sardines. So I have sardines there. I'll have some tuna. I'll have... Um, even if I just grab some meatballs or something like that or chicken breasts that I've cut up and have it there or salmon that I've cut up and put on my salad, have that for lunch. That's for me. Now, the men are on their own for lunch. They Sometimes they will take sandwiches that I make. Um, sometimes they will take, they just grab some of that frittata. They, cause we don't, we're not big breakfast people, but they grab the frittatas or whatever like that. But um, then for dinner is what we use the meal. That's what the meal prep is for. We use that for dinner. I'm going to take my glasses off. I see better when I don't have my glasses on up close. But um, it usually takes about four to five hours to do all of that that you see me doing. I know it. the video is only like 15 minutes or so, but it, it's, it's uh, four or five hours. So I get home from church I have some lunch usually take a little quick hour nap or so and then I get started and I prepare my meats and uh, all that stuff today I'm doing a uh, beef stir fry and um, some chicken breasts I'm gonna grill those on my George Foreman grill and I also have some um, shrimp I think I'm going to make for myself to have. So, um, And I write it all down. As I prepare each section of it, I check it off. 
so I know I got it done so because I have to focus because I'll lose track and I'll be doing the salad when I'm supposed to be doing this and then uh, I have to be focused so I write things down but that is how um, my meal prep Sunday goes so this is the first segment I just was telling you um, talking about what all I'm going to do have uh, you need to have your proteins vegetables and I have some kind of carbohydrate you the men like rice I'll probably do potatoes and uh, sweet potatoes and um, we have we do uh, that's the way I do it I have to have a, something from each the, the group I don't because I'm a meat and and vegetable type person I don't have to have the the carbs because they tend to make my stomach bloat and it, it, I just don't feel well with those. Since I've started this uh, somewhat the whole 30, I did the complete in my 30 days, but I'm still eating pretty much on that same way. It did make me feel so much better and my stomach went down. That And that tells me that I'm not insulin in resistance anymore as my stomach is shrinking. And... No, pounds are not going away, but inches are. And as I've gotten older, that means more to me to fit in clothes comfortably than to uh, show up on the scale. The scales aren't and don't preach the whole story about your health. There are a lot of other things that preach the story about your health. So that's where we are right now. I'm going to finish my lunch here and... Um, I have a new tool for the kitchen. I bought me an iron skillet um, because I needed a larger skillet and I um, really like iron skillets from my growing up days. So I'm going to um, uh, seasoning it right now. So I'll give you some shots of that as I go along. It's in the oven now seasoning. <laughs> Talk to you later. Love you. Coming in, starting out the meal prep. Here I have some chicken breasts that I'm marinating in some balsamic vinegar and seasoning, which I use some of this and this. Don't tell Willie, remember? Don't tell Willie. <laughs> Willie does not like Mrs. Dash because he had to have Mrs. Dash in the hospital. And that makes him think about his time. But I'm thinking about his longer time here. <laughs> so he needs Mrs. Dash and not real salt. Okay. I told you earlier that I um, bought me a new cast iron. And this is it. And... I did not realize that this is the only company now that makes cast iron skillets. And I got this from Walmart. It was less than 20 bucks. It was like 19 something. So 20 bucks. <laughs> but um, I seasoned it. And what you and you have to season these. This came already seasoned, but you still have to go through and uh oil it down and I oiled it down with G butter you can do it with lard you can do it with any kind of uh, oil that can smoke so I oiled it down and put it in the oven you put it in the oven for an hour and then take it back out wipe it down some more oil it and put it back in you have to do that about two or three times when it's brand new to get it seasoned because you don't want things to stick in there and you don't want it to uh, rust so cast iron is, is the maintenance on cast iron is totally different from any kind of other like stainless steel or uh, Teflon um, type uh, frying and pans and cooking utensils but this um, is this thing is, you talk about lifetime warranty, this will never go bad. If you take care of it, keep it out of uh, hot water. You don't want to use hot water in it when cleaning. And you really just want to wipe it down. 
um, if you have only time you put it in water if you have something that's sticking and you need to scrape it clean but I've learned so much in doing research on this cast iron and um, cast iron and stainless steel is the healthiest uh, cooking ware that you want to use because if you have I had stainless steel which I love not stainless steel I'm sorry coated you know the uh, um, coated type of non-stick uh, utensils for uh, a while and you don't want to keep those any more than about four or five years because after a while that Teflon coating starts to get into your food and it's unhealthy for you so I am thinking well I want to get rid of that I don't want to have to buy cookware every five years so I bought some stainless steel and you can watch my video we'll put the link below um, of the new stainless steel cookware I have but I needed a larger frying pan for for doing like stir fries and things like that so I'm going to make my beef and broccoli with mushroom stir fry in this today and um see how that works I, I know my grandma and my mom always use cast iron um, skillets and you know a lot of times you go back to the old way of people doing things and those were the most wise things that they, they were they were older and wiser so check out and, and do research if you have stainless uh, not stainless steel I keep saying that if you have that non-stick um, cookware with the coating on there and you know you thought that was the best thing because it has non-stick um, it might be the best thing for cooking and keeping things from sticking but it's not the best thing for your health so do your research and check that out but I'm gonna be purchasing more uh, cast iron probably because I'm, lo I'm loving this it's sturdy this is never gonna go bad as long as you don't let it rust you heat this will go down through generations and my mom had some and silly me you know when you're young you don't know I should have kept it so um, this is the beginning of meal prep starting on my this and I'm gonna make some jasmine rice today so here we go boom and we're back I, I know folks this is my third week making this kale but we just love it so much it's so yummy but this is my kale stir fry this is probably gonna be the last week I make this I'm gonna um, go through with a different vegetable after this but there is my beef broccoli and um, pepper stir fry there in my new cast iron skillet and of course I'm making um, some ground turkey sausage here this is going to be for our frittata and I'm going to sneak some vegetables into the frittata this week I didn't tell the guys about that but uh, yeah right <laughs> we're going to sneak some vegetables into the frittatas and I'm not I'm going between um, making the making it as a in this you know as a whole like I've been doing or putting it in some muffin tins so um, I don't know it depends how I feel when once I get it all mixed up <laughs> if I want to deal with the muffin tins or if I have some cupcake uh, containers I might put it in like a cupcake thing but um, that'll save me from having to cut it up and wrap it up um, each piece of it but we'll see how I feel about that but here in the oven I have my um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do that on the Foreman grill or if I would do them in the oven and I think I'm doing them in the oven because it's a little juicier so that's my chicken breast and I'm going to cut those up and probably um, put it over rice I'm also going to make me some uh, cauliflower rice so that I can have you know the, that stuff and all of this with my um because I made them some jasmine rice so and I'm again not eating any rice and bread and those type of carbs I'm eating slow carbs which is sweet potatoes and um 
what else? Fruit, you know, strawberries, berries, green apples, all those types of slow carbs that help uh, flush your body out better than uh, those uh, speedy carbs that, that that white rice, if I eat that, oh goodness, it will make my blood sugar go crazy. So we just uh, stick into that for Debbie. And, that, and that's for me personally. People, you know, we hear about low carb and low fat and this and that. Whatever works for your body best. My body is sensitive to carbohydrates, the, the fast carbohydrates, which is the, the white rice and yellow rice and any kind of rice and bread and stuff like that. Even the whole wheat, it still makes my blood sugar go crazy. And uh, refined sugar, I, I have to stay away from those. That's my body. Now, I'm not saying that that goes for everybody, but that's for me. So, this is where we are in our process. I will be back probably once I get uh, everything packed up and meals going. And what I did with this is I cooked half the beef strips and that is some fresh broccoli. Um, the peppers and stuff, I cut up some fresh ones, but I have this uh, frozen pack of, of peppers and onions for stir fry that I used in that. But I do, I prep some of my stuff, but a lot of it is fresh frozen vegetables that I use. Um, yeah, it's it helps with the cooking process. <laughs> it just does. So... This is where we are, and I'm I'm loving that skillet, guys. And of course, you I you did not saw my unboxing for uh, my stainless steel cookware, but I talked to you in the beginning of this video about the difference in that that uh, non-stick Teflon cooking cookware. Watch it; it's not good for your health. Be back shortly. Welcome back. Now I'm in the process of making my frittata and um, I told you I was thinking about doing it in the cups. Now I don't measure stuff. I'm bad. I'm putting, um, this is salsa. I put about a half a cup. It's about a half a cup of salsa. And um, then I have where are my measuring cups. Measuring cup. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a half a cup. Today I'm using almond milk. I ran out of cocoa, uh, coconut milk, and I didn't order <laughs> anymore. I forgot. So we're gonna put this in here. And then I mix it up, mix this up. And this is a fan favorite for my family also. My son and my husband love this. Put a little bit of salt in there. And again, this is my Himalayan salt. And then, uh, don't tell Willie, Mrs. Stash. And this is the onion and her, her herb flavor, Mrs. Mrs. Dash. Mix that all up. And I'm using my trusty baking dish again. I spray this with some nonstick spray. Last but not least, this is my ground turkey sausage. That I cooked up earlier. And for you folks, I'm the type of cook that I'm washing dishes as I cook. I cannot work in a messy kitchen, 
So as I cook, I am constantly washing dishes. So by the time I'm done with my cooking uh, meal prep on Sundays, the, the dishes that I use for cooking are done except for like pans and stuff that I uh, prepare the food in. Those pans, I um, once I dished out everything into the plates, into the uh, containers, my husband takes care of those. He washes the dishes um, and cleans the kitchen because he likes to clean the glass top stove. He has a little thing about that and he wants to make sure it's done properly. So, and I don't mind. If he wants to do it, he can do it. Okay. So that's all mixed up. And I'm pouring it in here. There we go, and then we toss it into the oven. This is what it looks like before. And you will see the results at the end. I've never showed you how I actually make it, so I thought I would do that today. I'll see you guys in a little. Here we are, I'm back. I'm cooking up some cauliflower fried rice. It was a fan favorite last week. It was good. Now I did this with some olive oil in the pan. Then I cracked two eggs, scrambled them up in there, and then I dumped the, uh, the cauliflower rice mixture which has carrots, cauliflower, onions, um, green, um, you know, the little green onions. And it's smelling delicious. I made some um, sweet potato fries here. And then, of course, in the oven is the uh, cast of, not casserole. <laughs> In the oven is my frittata, and then I have some shrimp in there that I'm going to put with this cauliflower rice. Yum, yum. And there's my regular rice. Yeah, I think I'm overdoing it again today. I'll be back. Good evening. It's Sunday meal prep time again, and this is my final clip for the evening. Get you to take a look at what I didn't do quite as much. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll say it like my son says. I have third, what is it? First world problems. Don't have enough space in the refrigerator for food. <laughs> But um, we're blessed, I'll put it that way. But to, uh, today I showed you that I had the uh, beef uh, stir fry, beef broccoli and pepper stir fry. And that's what this is, beef broccoli stir fry with the peppers and some kale under white rice, jasmine rice this time on top of jasmine rice. And there we have that. I made some shrimp for myself. Shrimp is with the uh, cauliflower rice that I made. There's cauliflower rice under there. <laughs> and uh, kale. And there I have one that I put uh, some roasted chicken in because I kind of ran out of the beef stir fry. So I put some roasted chicken in there. But I made some chicken and chopped it up so that I can have that for salads or um, you know whatever if they want to make a fajitas or whatever like that they can do that there's my beautiful salad with those wonderful wild tomatoes we have some blueberries here some apples and a frittata 
And I forgot to show you the sweet potato fries there. They actually ate those tonight with some burgers. <laughs> so, there we have our meal prep day um, preparation. And I am so ready to relax. But it's so well worth it. It has some mushrooms in there also. So happy Sunday, everybody. And I hope that you're getting some ideas from this. Uh, watch our videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Love you.